the biggest result out of the secret scrimmages so far was Carolina FAU. Uh, FAU is the top 10 team. Barstool Invitational, by the way. They're playing in the Barstool Invitational. Get your tickets now. Uh, November 8th, Wintrust Arena. Um, is that a good enough promotion, TJ? Anything else? All right, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> FAU is the top 10 team. Five starters back from the Final Four. Uh, Coach is back, which is, you know, like uh, a, a huge deal for a team of, of – that, uh, you know, those mid-major team like that goes on a run like that. Oftentimes they lose their coach. They did not. Dusty May is back. Um, they lose by 16 in North Carolina in a secret scrimmage. And this was widely reported. I th uh, Goodman, I think, said uh, – I, I, his tweet said, like, R.J. Davis was terrific. He, he made sure to, like, mention specific guys. R.J. Davis was terrific, which I felt like, is this a shot at Caleb Love? Are we trying to say that oh, RJ – See, that's what I, my biggest takeaway is going to be addition by subtraction. Caleb yeah. Love here. I figured that yeah. was exactly the reaction yeah. we got to get out of this. Yeah. We're going to ignore that FAU is missing a key starter. That doesn't right. matter. Not right. important. Uh, but yeah, you know, two teams that had made the Final Four is like eight, nine seeds, back-to-back -back years, brought a bunch right. back, coming into the hype. The well, big... FAU coming into this year, um, there's a little bit of chatter of like, are they just last year's North Carolina? That, right. That the reason it's a fun parallel. Anybody, yeah, the parallels. I don't necessarily. We, we've talked about this before. You, where, where, where are you with FAU? Well, I mean, you have to be, you have to be low on them now because they just lost by six. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or, or no, this is one that didn't feed my agenda, so I ignore this. One. Oh I yeah, throw it out. yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I thought FAU was going to be top fifteen again for sure. Like so much balance bring back all kinds of guard play they, they've said all the right things in the media about like we're still hungry we're not satisfied right. with last year they were even saying it at the final four last year but now like well, i did not on. expect a, to, them to get spanked and it was in boca raton too spin zone um dusty may did this on purpose because he wants his team to continue to be hungry that dusty may somehow through this game uh this was the exact result both teams needed north carolina needs some confidence fau needs a chip on their shoulder that's what both of these programs need. I like um, this. What if this? What if this? What if this? I'm gonna go galaxy brain on you. What if the scrimmage didn't even take place at all? And <laughs> <laughs> and the FAU guys and are they, just like, wait, these yeah. headlines say we stink. Schubert and Dusty May just called each other and they're like, what do you need out of your program? Dusty's like, honestly, we got five guys back from the Final Four. Uh, we're jumping up to a new conference. Like, I think. I think our guys, if we come into the season thinking we're better than we are, we're going to get our ass kicked. we gotta, we got to have a chip on our shoulder, stay hungry. What do you need, Hubert? And he's like, well, honestly, last year after you know being in preseason number one and missing the tournament, our guys just need some confidence. We need to know that we can play basketball at a high level. And uh, I'm like, all right, well, why don't you just say you kicked our ass? That's, I'm going to look up flight logs. <laughs> Chapel Hill to Boca Raton. Can we confirm that the team actually traveled down there? I'm sure they flew private, so we can't actually, you know. No one saw them in the airport. Yeah. But.